Rap Rock Man Enough YouTube, once again I'm back Back in the stock room, back with another review So today we're going to be reviewing uh, of course, you've seen, you know, the intro to the video and the thumbnail. Um, Airship Awake, New York. And, uh, you know, this shoe released, you know, maybe like a few weeks ago or a month ago. But, you know, I decided to go ahead and just bring you a, you know, a look and give you my opinion on the shoe to see if, you know, if this video will help some someone out there decide if they want to cop the shoe or not. So I'm going to give an up-close personal look at the shoe, break down, you know, um, what this Airship storyline is, back, you know, backstory things of that nature and then uh, you know we'll, we'll get into the review and then uh, end the review off I'm not sure if I'll be doing it all foot because I don't know if I'll be keeping this shoe but you know let's take a, a, a up close personal look at this shoe and then we'll decide from there so without further ado let's get into the review okay so let's hop right into it so you know, before I show the shoe and go over all the details uh, let me just read a little bit of what sneakers had to say about um, the Jordan Airship uh, Awake New York. So, Jordan Heritage runs deep in New York City. This collaboration with Awake New York celebrates the undeniable link between MJ's birthplace and what Jordan brand has grown to be. Before the Air Drone One debut, Michael wore the Jordan Airship. So we're honored those roots with the ones before the ones. So these were the ones before the ones basically. Um, this edition mixes a cell leather upper with university red snakeskin accents with a metallic platinum swoosh is layered over a university red swoosh, adding depth to the design. The airship comes decked out uh, in branding, including a co-branding co uh, tongue label, Awake New York Signature A logo stitched on the mid guard, and Awake New York stamping on the heel. Custom packaging seals the deal. So that's what... Sneakers had to say about the shoe. So let's get into the box first. You see, you got your awake on the front of the box with that red jump. Man, it's a dope box. I will say that the box is super dope. Um, you know, you got Nike on this side. You got your snakeskin pattern um, bottom of the box. Underneath, you got where I'm from. I believe that's the theme of the shoe, where I'm from, which a Nike branding on the side here. Pretty dope. And on this side, you got again your Nike Air stamp there. And then the sizing tag, which reads Jordan Air Ship PESP, Sale Black University Red, size 10. Normally wear a size 10 in my Jordan ones or airships. All right, cool. Let's get into it on the inside of the box lid. You should have a jump man with the longitude latitude um, inside the lid of the box. You do have, if you can see there, there is um, a stamp there and the box lid dimensions. Come with that, we'll get it to that. Uh, the paper should come with this, oh, you know, weight New York paper with the jump man. And I think this is like a map of New York that's on here, if you can see. I believe that's like a map of New York or like the, you know, the boroughs. But I could be wrong. That's what it looks like to me. You, you get another set of paper that comes in the shoe box as well. And then the shoes. Let's go ahead and uh, put these to the side real quick. We got going on, Man. and you got a third paper at the bottom of the shoe box as well. You do get a quality control green stamp and box dimensions as well. So that's the inside of the box. With the shoes, you do get your Airship Awake New York Airship PE Owner's Manual. It's pretty dope. And normally you get this, uh, and it's got the Awake New York on the back with the jump in as well, and the Nike branding. Normally you get this, it, it, you know, it just it's like a just uh, generic overlay of the shoe and what the specs are, things of that nature. But this is specifically geared to the airship, so it talks about the uh, awake New York airship specifically. So you want to pause that? I'm not gonna read all that, but if you want to pause and look at that, give you all the specs about the shoe. Pretty fire all the details and you got your Nike Air there at the bottom so yeah it's pretty cool and 
you get stickers that came with it as well. Borough, Staten Island, Queens, Bronx, Manhattan. On the back, you get where I'm from, Awake New York, Awake New York, uh, Wings logo, Brooklyn, Air Jordan. So they really hooked us up with all the, the extras, you know, which we do love. So let's get in the shoe. Let's start with the right shoe. So with the right shoe, start with the outsole. You got this age outsole, just like we had with the Lost and Founds. Uh, standard Jordan 1 outsole, which a Nike on the middle. As we move up to the midsole, you got that uh, aged out midsole. And, and for this particular shoe, they really aged it out. Like this is super, super aged out. And I think that may have been a deal breaker for me. I'm not, I'm not sure, so we'll get into it. Uh, the upper of the shoe, you got this uh, sail upper with your Awake New York. A right there stitched in metallic Nike swoosh with the red Nike behind it so it gives that nice little overlay now upper of the shoe around the ankle collar you got that snake skin which I think is dope you got instead of having you know Air Jordan with the with the uh, the wings logo it says awake New York and let's see I'm gonna try to get a good picture of that because it's kind of hard to see that is, that'll zoom in on that, but yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but that's what that says. On the back of the right shoe, you got your Nike Air in black. Going down the back of the heel, you got that snake skin again. The tongue, you got like a, a aged out tongue with your black Nike Air. On top of the tongue, nylon tongue as well. Um, back of the tongue, you got your Awake, awake um, New York with your jump man. White laces that come already tied in the shoe. Shoe trees. I'm sorry, no shoe trees, but shoe paper instead. Inside of the shoe, got your Nike Air in black with your sizing tag. And you got your shoe size as well on the ankle of the shoe on the inside in that red. Does come with an actual metallic silver hang tag jumpman hang tag and this i don't this is not plastic sometimes you get hang tags that are kind of plasticky uh, this is actually like this is metal it's kind of heavy and this is like pure metal so that was a dope touch and, oh and i will say the leather on this though it's one of the best leathers i've felt on jordan in a long time it kind of reminds me of my uh, jordan one shadows that, that leather on the shadows is just plush and beautiful look at this it's crazy soft, like ridiculous. Beautiful grain, look at that. You can see as I'm pushing it in, just the grain of the leather. And it's all throughout the shoe. Every part of the shoe that has that upper sail leather is this plush. Look at that. It's ridiculous. And I will say that, that's a plus about this shoe, for sure. I was getting to the left shoe, same details on the left shoe, but one added touch, it does come with an extra spare red laces and they gave us a lace bag with this one as well. Um, same inside, same insole, everything else the same, same plush leather. It's even out on both shoes. But yeah, that was it pretty much. And oh, on the back of the left shoe, instead of saying Nike Air, it says Awake New York on the back of the left shoe. Cool. So that was the details of the shoe, man. Uh, you know, let me let, let me jump back in front of the camera. We're gonna end the review off and let me give you my thoughts on, you know, how I feel about the shoe and, you know, um, you know, just what my thoughts are overall on the shoe as well. So let's get it. All right, so that was the review of the Jordan um, Airship, Air Jordan Airship uh, Awake New York. So my thoughts on the shoe, I think it's a dope shoe for sure definitely a dope shoe but i think what killed it for me for the shoe was this uh aged out midsole that they have here on the midsole i think that kind of killed it for me it's almost too dirty it's like they they pre-aged a little too much for my taste uh but which which it kind of kind of obsessed me because the shoe overall is a dope shoe and the leather is just ridiculous so you know, I'm not sure. I gotta, I gotta take a couple days and think about it. I'm not sure if I'll be keeping this shoe, but 
uh, it is a dope shoe. I mean, if you like airships and um, you don't mind, you know, aged soles being that aged out, then I think this is a dope shoe that you can grab. It's not even going for that much as far as over retail on, on the uh, secondary market. So if you're interested in this shoe, I would definitely go cop the shoe for sure. And all the extra packages that they give with the shoe, I think that's a plus overall. But um, also what I would say, the merch, you know, I cop this shirt. Um, as far as the merch, the merch was okay. It was a little pricey. I would say the shirt, as far as the quality and everything, and you know, I would expect this part here where it says Awake New, you know, um, Awake New York with the Jumpman to be like embossed or stitched in or something, but it's not. So I would say in my opinion, the shirt's not worth the price right now. Um, but you know, I did get the shorts as well, and the shorts are pretty dope, man. The shorts, um, you can see here, it's got that Awake um, New York Jumpman right there stitched in. It's got the stitch Nike sign right there on the side, and it's got the stitch 23 as well here on this side. And the quality is pretty, it's pretty heavy, good quality. It's got a back pocket back here. Uh, let me see, let me got a zipper. Yeah, back pocket with a zipper in the back. Um, you got your front laces here, or your front uh, pull tabs for the shorts, and got the Jumpman on there. And it's got the uh, green elephant. I'm sorry, it's. It's snake print, actually gray snake print on the sides of the shoe. So I think what I'm going to do with this pair, I'm going to save this pair for the uh, Jordan 3 reimagined um, Seaman 3s that are coming back out uh, at the end of the year. So I'm going to save that for that pair because this will go perfect with them. And right now I could go with the bridge or anything like that. So I think that's what I'm going to you know, save those shorts for it. And shorts are probably worth it in my opinion. They're a little bit more pricey as well, but I feel like the shorts are worth it. And right now, um, I think the merch is still sitting on Nike. Let me just double check real quick. So the shirts, they still have sizes from an extra small, small, medium to a large. And you see here, the shorts, they have a full size run from extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and then double XL. So uh, if you want these things, I mean, they do have the sweatpants and they have the uh, hoodies as well left on the site. So if you want things, I will say, Maybe wait till they go on sale and try to cop or, you know, uh, I'm not sure how they would do come summer. But yeah, I think it's a, overall it was a decent drop. But, you know, like I said, I don't know if I'll be keeping this shoe. I might go ahead and uh, take a couple days to think on it. And if not, I'll probably just let it go on my eBay, you know, retail, close to retail or market what it's going for right now. So, um, you know, that was my review of the shoe. You let me know what you think. You think it's a cop or a drop? Did you go for the shoe or did you let it sit? you know, comment down below. So I got a few more reviews to bring to you this weekend coming up, uh, uh, the Eraser Dunks I have, and uh, I did cop the, I, I copped on the shop drop of the uh, Air Max, Air Max Day, uh, the Royal Blue with the uh, Volt bottom. So I'll bring that review to you with an all foot uh, soon. So, you know, if this is your first time stopping by, again, hit that subscribe button, share the channel, uh, like the video, and you know, I appreciate all the support once again. We're on the road to a thousand and uh, we're gonna keep grinding until we get there. So this is Don Juan and to the next drop, to the next cop, to the next review, I'm out. Steps so fresh, they call me Manny. Plus the crossover so cold, it come in handy.